Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well in this video today we're going to use a free plugin called Divi Enhancer. It's a free plugin, it is also a paid version. What we're doing today is available with the free version. And we've just created this nice little circular hover effect with the I hover module. Very easy to do and nice little feature to have on your site. If you're building any sort of website with WordPress, you need to check out the Divi theme, which is what we're using here today. I've literally over the last three years built hundreds of sites with it. It just keeps getting better and better and easier and easier to use with more features. If you want to take it for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. The Visual Builder is great because it allows us to build on the front end. And let's just get rid of that section and start again. Okay, so I'm going to add a new section. I'm going to click on this little blue button here, add new section. Make it a regular section. In our row, I'm going to put three columns. Obviously, you can put in three, four, five, whatever you want to put in there. The light gray modules here are the ones that come by default with Divi, and there's plenty of them. Uh, the different colored ones, the blue and the red ones, are the modules that come with third party plugins. The one that I want today is the iHover. Now, there's plenty of them here, but if you click on some of these, they're only available in the Pro version and it'll pop up with a little message like this. But the one we're using today is available with the free version. So let's get rid of that and put in the one that we actually want today. So I'm going to just trash that one. Click on the little cross there. Let's go down and put in that iHover module. And there we are. Don't want a link. I'm going to put in a name. I'm using it for a sort of team member thing. Real imaginative name there. I'm going to make that a heading. And underneath it says CEO and founder. There we go. And let's upload a picture. And that's the one I used last time, I believe. There it is. There's our little module. And as you can see, when you hover over it, that's what it does. Now we need to adjust our text so we can see it a lot better here. So let's go to our design tab. Go down to heading text. H2 was our name up the top is actually there i don't know if you can see that let's change the color to white so we can see it a bit better heading text color heading two there we are let's make it i'm going to use the default font but let's make it light there we go that's fine like that and then for the actual text, I'm not sure if I want it yellow like that. I'm gonna, I think I'll make that white as well. So if I close that up, we just go to text, hit white. There we go. That's to turn that white color. I think that's a lot more easy to read. And the actual fade effect itself is okay, but I think I want it perhaps a blue color. So. Let's go back to our content tab to the main. Main color. Let's make that blue. And when I hover over, it's got that blue background there. But I want it a little bit opaque. I want to be able to see through it a little bit. So I click on the color right there. And the slider to the right here will take the opacity down. So I just want to be able to see her face through it a little bit but still read the writing it's fine perhaps a little less great 
that's going to do fine. So that's our first module done. Let's just save that. I'm going to copy it over. So I'm going to go to the module tab right here. Hit the two little oblongs or squares right there. That'll clone it. And then we can drag our modules across to where we want to put them. Doesn't matter which one you drag because they're all the same. And it looks like I've got one more than I need here. So I'm going to delete that one. Okay, and let's just go across and edit these other modules. Very easy to do. Then another picture, just hit the trash icon there. Put that young fella in. There's that one. Let's just make sure it's going to do what we want to do. Yep. Save that one onto the next one. Change that image out. Let's move this so we can see it. There we go. Make sure everything's correct. That's fine now. I'm just going to give this section a background color. Here's the section tab. The blue one's the section. Green one's the row. Dark gray one is the actual module. Can I hit the edit cog on the section? Give it a background color. Make it blue. Let's take that down a little bit. It's a little too vivid. Also a nice light blue, something like that. Of course, it's up to you how you have yours. Now let's save our changes. If you've not got that expanded, just click on the purple button there. Hit the little save box over to the right hand side. And when we get the check mark, let's exit the visual builder. And there we have it. There is our little sort of team section using the I hover module. Nice little effect right there. And once again, that's the Divi Enhancer. Just type that into your plugins, add new Divi Enhancer, and it'll pull it up for you. Or if you want to try out the pro version, you can do so from my affiliate link down below this video. I hope you found that useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day day.